Hi guys, how are you? So today I want to talk to you about me doing up this chest of drawers. As you can see, let me just zoom it in. So me, that's me sitting there and decided to make it the backdrop of where I was sitting. But today I want to talk about me doing up the chest of drawer. Um, and basically just run through it. I didn't get a chance to film as I was going and that was something that I really wanted to do. But, sorry I have a cold. <laughs> but um I took enough notes and I have enough bits that I can show you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk through all the products and all the bits and pieces that I use step by step and hopefully it helps somebody else if they're doing this at home because this it came out so good nice guys I'm so chuffed with it and I have such a good feeling that because I didn't buy it I bought this and two other pieces for 25 euro. And um, I spent about, I think I calculated, it's 105 all in for me to do this up. So basically we're at now, the spend for this is at 130 euro for this chest of drawers. And I think like for what you'd be paying in the shops, I think this is like absolutely perfect. It's spot on. And it's a good price as well. There's a few scratches on it. But apart from that, like, I have nothing to be worrying about. When I say nothing, I have nothing to be worrying about. I absolutely love it. And I think that it is so perfect. I'm at the window, so you're going to get half and half. But I didn't want to move it. I wanted to record this before I went any further. Sorry. <laughs> so the first thing I did with a bit of furniture is I just cleaned it out and wiped it down. Make sure that... You know, all the dust and the cobwebs and everything was off it. Agwan, I need your help. I got these chest of drawers. And as you know, I'm going the sustainable route. I've been doing this for the last few years. So I'm going to always look backwards when I want to go forward. And just as well, because I keep changing my mind with stuff, you know yourself. I got this chest of drawer and I got it as part of a three piece, which I didn't really know. I thought I was going to get a two piece, but when I got there, mom was like, do you want this coffee table? Which I was looking for a coffee table and it was a perfect size. I got all three pieces for 25 euro. You're not going to beat that. Don't even try. But I really love the handles on these. I don't know how to upcycle. People keep going, how do you do this? I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. So we need to figure this out together. I asked my friend, Joanne Condren, and she said, the first thing I need to do with this is give it a clean. Okay, so we're going to start with giving it a clean and then I'm going to sand it all back. Is that right? Is that wrong? If you know better, please comment below because your girl needs help. Mm -hmm. But then I went over with sugar soap. Um, this is cheap enough. You can get it like for one fifty in the pound shop. I've had this for so long. You're going to see me putting in reels here because I kind of did this through Instagram because it was just so easy to go two minutes. I just didn't have the time to be setting up the videos fully to get it for YouTube. I just didn't have that time last week. And plus I was trying to figure it out, you know. Sugar soap, hey, underneath the kitchen sink. We love when we find things like that. I don't know how I bought it anyway because I don't know anybody who even talks about sugar soap. It has to be on here. Maybe the last time I was doing something. Anyway, that's me cleaning with my one hand because I could only find one glove. I then realized I had to take the handles off and they were on these little bracket thing. The last time I spoke with Joanne, she was like, just pop them out. Pop them out, she says. Like they said about kids, it was equally as hard. No, it wasn't. <laughs> anyway, eventually I was broken and I got them all done. And that's it for today. I ain't touching this. I'm not doing nothing else. Anyway, I wouldn't say the neighbors be delighted with me sanding the way down here. And full yeah. over them. So that's the sugar soap. And I just did that with a sponge. It was fine. And I kind of left it then, let it to dry. And I said, you know what, the next day I'll come and do it. And what I used for the next day was I used um, a sanding block and I sand down every little piece. And this is what the grain was. It wasn't like a real wood. It was like a veneer that was over the wood. So it's like a, a way they used to do it. Um, and it's like a cheaper way for everybody to afford things. If you think of it, most, most furniture you're going to get are like that unless you get like oak or something like that most of them are like that so i had my little sanding block and i was sanding like bits and pieces but i used my electric drill um my electric um sander which is this 
this is the one I have here and you just buy the little pieces and then you stick them onto it and that's all I did guys I just sanded it the next day all I was doing was just sanding 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 and it made such a difference like it just made such a difference but not a great difference to my garden my garden still has the residue of this dust everywhere from all that sanding but it was easy enough thank god i had the electric sander because i don't know how people used to do that back in the day i'm telling you lads if you don't have to do it don't do it so that was the sanding then and that was easy enough and then i went in with my friend danish oil so danish oil it's actually you know what it is it's like it brings out the natural grain in the wood exactly what it says on the tin and it's so easy to use. Loads of them say you have to use a flint free, um, a, fr a flint free, is it a flint? A flint free cloth, a lint, a lint free cloth. <laughs> You'll see it in the video, it should come up anyway. But that's what you have to use. But I just used one of Louis's old cotton tops. I just ripped it and I just, I look like the Hulk ripping it. But I just used that and I just dabbed this onto it and it just brought up the wood a lot deeper than I thought. I would have loved it to be a lighter, kind of golden, but this doesn't do that. All it does is it brings up the natural color in the wood. So you can't get it to be, you know what I mean, like a light piney kind of color if it's not. Well, they say it takes a strong woman to do strong work. The poor arms. <laughs> but look at it in slow mo, seriously. Okay, so I'm using this as an oil cloth. This is the Danish oil that I got and I'm just nervous about touching everything because I'm actually quite clumsy and I, I do spill things here and there now, but I was very careful and the wood came out a lot darker than I would have liked it. I'm not going to lie, but this is wasn't really wood wood, so it was wooding. I don't know. This is, you're going to see the before and after now. And this was so easy to do guys so easy that's the oil that I used for the person who was telling me don't sand too much it's too late okay <laughs> um, so that's what I did for the next day and I have to say that I was so chuffed with it I was like absolutely so proud of how far we got with that I had to then let it dry but why that was drying I went in and did my undercoat and I just used the crown. I went over to this local place, the local place there. Um, I think they were down the road from me and they moved up. But it's like the crown center and you get loads of like painters and stuff going in there. But I went in there and I have to say, guys, they were so nice and so friendly. A lot of these hardware stores, you go in there and you're literally running around trying to find someone to help you. Like, it's like they automatically think, like, if you're in there, you know. And sometimes I do be, I'm not even going to lie about this. Sometimes I do be in there for so much longer than I need to be. Just because I'm trying to figure out, like, do I get this one or is it this one? And you just want one person just to say, like, that is that. But it's usually, like, minimum people on the floor. And in loads of these places, like, almost all the, the big hardware centers... So it was nice when you went into a paint shop, I was literally saying to him like, oh, I'm going to get the Danish oil, but do I Danish oil first and then like just mark out places to paint? And then he was like, no, like literally paint and then Danish oil, just leave the, the part that you're going to Danish oil free and then you can oil it because he was like obviously oil and water but I didn't really realize that I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was so friendly and the kids were asking questions as well and I always think, it's like, you just, you know, when people just look at your kids and they're like, yeah, 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 that's great. You're brilliant. You know, you feel great. Like, you don't feel like they're annoying them. But I thought they were really like the customer service there. It's the one in the Clare Hall shopping center on the north side. I thought they were really friendly and really polite. I'm just saying, I call a spade a spade. Like. So this place popped up down the road from me. I said I'd go in and have a look. They had the Danish oil there, which is the oil I was talking about. And then the woven calico, calico is a color I'm actually going to paint all over my house. So I wanted it for the wood as well because I wanted everything to be like tied in. Um, I got me, I was checking out what brushes people use <laughs> to paint furniture. And I ended up getting some. So I don't know. Okay. It's going to work. It's not going to work. Who knows? The price of these things. I was like, what? Nah, I'm using it as a cotton cloth. I went back to the place and I got it. And um, that was in the crown store. 
and then you can just call me Dusty after this. Oh my god, it was a lot. I think I have this done. The wooden's great, so I'm gonna be painting most of it. Um, so that's the undercoat there, and it was just a plain white undercoat. So as you know, like I have to do up my house. I'm not gonna lie. Every corner I look, I could see like the paintwork. Like I could just see it not looking right. Um, and with the, with the lights dimmed down and stuff, you won't notice a thing. But I do notice, and especially in my bedroom and stuff, it's not a place where I go in there and I love going into. So the that white color that you saw, it's the woven calico. And this is the color, I'm gonna go in and get 15 liters because I'm going to paint the whole house. Return of the truck, it is. Okay, so that was me stirring up the primer with chopsticks. Yep, that was me. And I have to say, guys, it's a crime not to prime. I checked the win and then I went in with my first coat. And I have to say, it was worth the effort with the sanding and all that bit. That's my truck. That's what it does best. But it is flawed, I have to say. <laughs> my truck has issues, okay? The color went on so beautiful. And I had to do it twice. But look at that. It was like literally, I think I found one little drip, which I'm going to sand back later. Now, the handles, I think they were sprayed, and then the spray is peeling back. I just want to note that my hands are not ashy. It's the paint. Thank you very much. What do I do? That color. Um, and yes, it is an off-white with the kids, but it lasts long enough for them. To be honest with you, sometimes it does me me that make more of a mess on the white, you know, like with me makeup and stuff. But I think this color is so nice. And then the paint of all the furniture in there. In the house that I'll be painting, I'll, if it's not a bright color, it's gonna be the woven calico, um, which this is the wood and it's all water based. That's what I'm gonna be doing. That's my idea for the house. I was looking for the block kind of color and it looked white, but it's actually quite warm. It's like a warm white. So I'm dying to get that everywhere. Like all our bedrooms are gonna be more or less that. And the kids' bedroom is gonna be that. And then I'm gonna wallpaper in there. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna be doing in there. I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. A beautiful room for them. Um, I'm just starting to get into the naturals. Like I like the natural vibe of everything. But I think that with the woven calico, it'll just be nice because it's carrying through, it's like the one kind of theme. So even though if I have wallpaper and it's in the hallway, which I'm gonna leave, like I'm not gonna redo my wallpaper. Like even if I have wallpaper in the hallway, or I have wallpaper in me kid's bedroom or in my bedroom, you still know that you're in kind of the same house. Um, And then even the door frames, I'm gonna change the door frames in the hallway because I never sanded them properly. And that's what you realize when you do one piece right, you start realizing like, Jesus, like I haven't been doing this right. And that's why it's peeling and stuff. So I'm going to sand back like the doors. Um, I'd love to get them to the natural color and just oil them with some Danish oil. Like that would be like legit what I'd love to do. But sure, you know yourself, um, one step at a time. And because I literally jump from job to job with the procrastination, like the kitchen still needs doing. But sure. I feel like when I'm painting all the walls, I'll paint all the walls. So yeah, that's the woven calico I went over with and I had to do it for two coats. Didn't need more than that at all. It was perfect, like exactly how it was. And um, the next bit was, you see those beautiful handles there? The next bit was, with the handle, I did everything to, actually I didn't tell you. So I just used a fluffy brush I used a fluffy brush and I used a, uh, like it's from um, Two Fussy Blokes. They're Dublin based. So if you see them in the shop, do try and support them. And then I just had my little um, wooden. I have one of these and I actually have one from the lads as well. Two Fussy Blokes roller. And I think it's just handy for, for that. I thought maybe I needed like a brush and to go like no nice brush strokes, but I didn't. I really didn't at all. Um, the copperware, well, the, the the hardware on it, the the knobs, I thought they were really hard for me to do. Just for the sake of, do you know what, lads? 
they were all peeling and stuff. You'll see that in the video there. They were all peeling and I had to sand them down. So I just used the block sander and I was like sanding them down and I had the kids sanding them down. Then we were using like, you know, the wire, the wool wire, the washing wool we're using at the scrub it and just wouldn't come off. But I went into the pound shop and this is what I found. I found like the gold spray paint, like multi um, purpose. It was three euro. So I literally like it's still loads in it. So I'll be able to do the other side, the other one as well, in the same color. Like I'm delighted with. But um I thought this was really I thought it was really good. I was really happy with it. Um I just gave it a light spray. I wasn't looking, I didn't want it to be like gold. I wanted it to be like, and it was the perfect color. I wanted it to be like a kind of a dull gold, if that makes sense, because I really wanted it to be really natural. So I did that. Oh, I forgot to show you. I tried the Brasso thing as well. It didn't work, but I'd say it would work on the other bits and pieces here, the other hardware that I have in the house, which I'm looking at all the kitchen bits and I'm thinking that I might be changing them all up, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I did. And I have to say, guys, it came out so nice. And I had that sense of achievement. I think it feels better than buying it new. And I think when I do the other piece and the coffee table, the way I want to do it, I think that's when we'll really see like how nice, you know, like how nice it can be. I feel like um, I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed with it. I'm going to be doing all things gardening this week. I'm going to be tidying up my garden. Um, I only have like 50 euro max to spend in my garden because my money is going down for the house and that's why I'm like I'm gonna go over and buy the paint I already have the black paint for the wall so I'm gonna repaint the black and then repaint the woven calico all over but yeah that was just an update of what I was doing and what all I had to say and um, it wasn't that expensive and the, the whole point of me sharing this guys is for the fact that you don't you can have a nice home and that's what i'm creating although i'd like my house and everything i want it to be like just a lovely warm confident house and i'm looking at literally wall by wall item by item that i have i don't want to bring in new items like in the kids room i probably will have to but i don't really want to bring in a lot of new items like in our house i feel like we have enough um it's just to make it work for our our family and that's that's really it when it all comes down to it isn't it so yeah that's really it guys i will see you for the next one um i won't say when just because i hate saying when but i have to do my food shop and everything so i hopefully i can capture that you know um i'm still